Welcome to this week's legislative report. Today is one of the last days of debate of the 2021 legislative session. The body will be in recess next Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday morning, they'll convene to take up LR 134, a resolution to adopt the standards that will be used for the 2021 redistricting process during a special session planned for this fall. Any motions to override gubernatorial vetoes will be scheduled for later on Wednesday. On Thursday, Governor Ricketts will address the legislature and any remaining motions will be taken up. After that, the 107th legislature first session will adjourn sine die. Adjournment was originally scheduled for June 10th, but since the substantive work of the body was done, Speaker Mike Hilgers called for an early adjournment. Bills that were not passed or indefinitely postponed will carry over to the 2022 session at the same stage of debate. This week was contentious with filibusters, cloture votes, and delay tactics. Despite lengthy days, the legislature passed a number of bills, including some affecting counties. LB 644 would require counties to send personalized postcards to all property owners if their property tax request exceeds allowable growth amounts. Counties, cities, school districts, and community colleges would have to hold a joint hearing and each give a presentation on their tax request. LB2 would change the valuation of ag land from 75% of its actual value to 50% for taxes levied to pay the principal and interest on school district bonds that are approved by a vote of the people. LB313 would extend the homestead exemption filing deadline for persons whose spouse has died. LB291 would require property tax protests to include the request of valuation. Forms would be prescribed by the tax commissioner unless the county developed its own form that captures the same information. LB521 would require requests for tax exemptions on real or personal property to include an estimated value of the property on the application form. Applications without the estimated value or any other inf required information would be denied. LB307 would require counsel to be appointed for juveniles charged with a felony and court advisement of the juvenile's right to retain counsel in other instances. LB51 would increase the hours of training for law enforcement officers and require each agency to be certified. LB236 was introduced to give ordinance authority to counties to allow concealed carry of weapons without a permit. After an attorney general's opinion questioning the constitutionality of the bill, the original language was removed and replaced with requirements for the state to give notice of expiring concealed carry permits. LB103 would appropriate $2 million annually for the next two years for counties with a federal judgment in excess of $25 million if the total cost of the judgment exceeds 25% or more of the county's budget and the county has set its levy at the maximum rate. LB388 would appropriate $20 million annually for grants to encourage the development of broadband internet service in unserved and underserved areas. LB285 would change redistricting deadlines to reflect the delay in receiving census numbers and the legislature's special session. LB271 would allow counties to implement a twice daily testing program as an alternative to incarceration for offenses involving operating a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol or drugs. These and other bills will be described in greater detail in our annual session summary that will be published at the end of June.